In this video, I'm going to show you a really good little blitzing concept that you can use specifically formations that have three wide receivers set to the right side of the field, stuff like wide trips, weak gun bunch, U trips, stuff like that, formations like that. We're going to show you a little pressure concept that you can use to really um, just be able to get consistent pressure against these little sets with great coverage in behind it. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in this video, we're talking about one of the best defensive playbooks in the game, the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. I think this is uh, truly one of the better formations in the game. You have the ability to go to nickel 245, 245 double A gap, 335 wide, 335 odd. You've got the 146, the 236 will, which is one of the most slept on formations in this game. And then also the dime 236, you've got 3-4 uh, bear as well. So just a lot of versatility in this playbook. But today we're talking about the nickel 335 odd. And we're going to be focusing on a Sam Mike one. Uh, if you want to learn my entire three three five odd defensive ebook, it's the first ebook that I put out this year on defense. And I have to tell you, um, it's probably the most balanced defense in the game. You can send great pressure from it. You have really good run defense. There's different types of blitzing concepts that work uh, depending on the formation. So this is just a great little defense that I like to use. Now we're going to show you how you can get pressure today against Gun Bunch. Really against any formation that has kind of a similar look and feel to the bunch where we have three receivers to the right and the running back on the left side of the formation. Now, uh, again, if you want to get the guide, there's a link in the description below. It's at, at the Patreon. Uh, the Patreon gets you access to all of the Madden 22 eBooks. I've got 13 guides over there. So if you want to get better, check out the Patreon. But the setup for this is really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to hit the R1 button or the RB button on Xbox, and we're going to spread our entire defense. You're going to see that it's going to spread our line. We're going to spread our linebackers. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to hit triangle up and then triangle down to press coverage. So we're going to hit triangle and then down on the left joystick, that's going to press our coverage and we're going to use her this safety. And the only adjustment we have to make from there is we're going to crash our defensive line down. And what you should see here is we're going to get some gap pressure, some edge pressure coming at the quarterback. Now, let me show you it again. If you want to contain, you certainly can. Um, it's a simple enough play that if you wanted to contain off that side, you certainly could. And again, we're just going to stand kind of right in here. And as you see, the contain and the B-gap player come completely free at the quarterback. Now, the other cool part about this is depending on the situation that you find yourself in, you can feel free to go ahead and drop coverages. For example, if we want to put the defensive tackle on the center in a bluff blitz, and then we want to put a hard flat to the bunch side of the field, just make sure you blitz your user. If you're going to do that, it's just going to help with the pressure. And what you should see here is your contain or your rush is going to kind of push the pocket. Again, it's a basic three-man uh, little looping pressure that we can get out of this formation. Now, where this blitz becomes really, really, really good is in the fact that most people, whenever they're trying to pick up pressure in Madden 22, they love to block the tight end. So what you're going to see here is if we have that same exec. Again, this is just basic cover one coverage here. But as you can see, we're able to get really consistent pressure off that left side, even if they block a tight end, uh, just like we did right there. Again, all we're doing is spreading our defense. We're going to crash our defensive line down and then press coverage. You don't have to press coverage for the blitz to work, but it does help the coverage. And then if you want to shave or shade over top, you certainly could. I would either not shade at all, or I would just simply shade over top uh, with this look. And then if they block their running back, what you should see here is this contain does still have a chance to come around the edge just like that. Um, the beauty of this player in, in the way that this is going to work is that running back is typically going to step up and he's going to try to pick up uh, this gap pressure that we're getting from the B gap. So when the running back blocks, see how he sucks into the middle, and then you see how Judon can come around the edge for simple pressure. So this is one of my favorite blitzes in the game because it's really hard to defend or really hard to pick it up uh, out of the gun bunch. And basically what you're going to force them to have to do for a simple five-man pressure, they're going to have to at least max protect. And to be honest with you, sometimes a max protect won't pick this up as well. You'll be able to find that you're going to get consistent pressure against max protect. Now, again, you're not going to get pressure every single time against max protect, but you will get it enough against max protect where they're going to get into a position where they're just going to have to start sending five people out and trying to hit a quick read which then you can kind of mix in some coverage off of this blitz. But, you know, they're going to have to block at least two people uh, for this to even have a chance to pick this up, and that's one of the beauties of this defense. Now, again, if you want to learn the entire defensive scheme, I'm going to put a link to that in my Patreon. 
uh, down below. So if you want to grab that again, you can get the Patreon membership for really cheap. It's only 10 bucks a month. And by joining the Patreon membership, you get access to not only um, the 335 odd ebook, but you can get access to all of my Madden 22 defensive and offensive ebooks. We're actually working on one right now out of the nickel 245 and out of the 155 double A gap. We got those coming out uh, here in the next couple of weeks for you. A lot of defensive stuff that I've been working on behind the scenes uh, with different coverages, but also with different pressure packages that we can send. So. A lot of stuff on the defensive side of the ball that's going to be coming out here relatively soon. So if you want to get access to all of that, again, head on down to the description, click that link, and go check on that Patreon. That Patreon membership, I guarantee you, will take your game to the next level. So many ebooks, so many guides, so many resources, uh, so that you can literally just pick up the game and know what works. So if you want to get better at this game, look no further than the Patreon membership. There's a link in the description below if you wanted to go ahead and check it out.